So over here, I have a proposed floor plan that I would like to finish. And I have this reference plan over here uh, that I'm gonna use to copy and move in some items so I don't have to start from scratch. For example, so I'm gonna move these items and the way I'm gonna do it is using the move command and I'm gonna move it exactly from this corner where the sink is so that way i know i need to place it uh, where this sink is so my tags will match so i'm gonna click like so and then i'm gonna rotate it using the rotate command and i'm gonna say p for previews and press enter to accept that so that way i can rotate my tags from the same point and go ahead and rotate them like so i might think that i can rotate all of these tags using the t orient and so i'm gonna select all of my tags press enter pick two points and rotate my text but no the mistake here is that although you can use the t orient to rotate some of your text and your attributes as you are seeing over here with the door tag. This won't work with multi-leaders as you are seeing it here. So instead of rotating your tags, the solution is to move your objects. So I'm gonna move it from this point and I need it over here on this restroom. So I'm gonna move it and place it exactly like that. And then instead of rotating, I'm going to use the mirror command. So when I use the mirror command and use P for previews to select my items, I can simply go ahead and use a midpoint like this wall and go down and click on it and say yes to accept that. So I don't have two copies of my objects and boom, you can see that all of my items are showing correctly. So this way I can quickly move my items like so. Don't rotate when you copy or move objects, simply use the mirror command and you will have your, your tags ready to go. So I'm gonna check my dimensions over here and I see something wrong here. These uh, overall dimensions are going to this to this door here they're supposed to go over here on this corner so i'm gonna fix that um, using the stretch command so I, that way um, i don't do it one by one so i'm gonna use the stretch command and uh, i'm gonna select these two dimensions this is the point that is dimensioning so i'm gonna click that point and select that and then I'm gonna hit shift. I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard to deselect my X ref. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna click my dimension point there. And I'm gonna place it exactly on that corner, like so. Wait, I just made one mistake here. Do you see the mistake that I made? So the mistake that I did is, um, and I'm gonna undo with control Z a couple of times to show you is that when I use the stretch command with the shortcut S and selected my dimensions, I use the shift key to deselect my X ref. And that's a mistake because we, we don't have to do that. It's an extra step that we are doing, it's basically a waste of time because I don't need to deselect my X ref. I can just simply press enter or, or space bar and I can simply move or fix my dimensions like so. Do you see that? So yeah, that's another very common mistake I see many folks doing even at the job where I am, at the architecture office where I work. So let's see over here on this proposed floor plan. Oops, I see that I have a missing block here. I'm supposed to have a roof 
hatch or ladder over here, but I don't. So let's see, I'm gonna open another floor plan that I did to try to find this block uh, so I don't have to recreate this block. I don't see any ladder or roof ladder over here. Okay, so this is another mistake that many of us do in AutoCAD, which is trying to find a block that you need from other drawings. So we don't have to waste our time doing that. So what we can do is um, have our blocks that we usually uh, use and save it somewhere on your computer. I have saved my blocks here on this folder and it's here. So I'm gonna quickly open it first uh, so you can see. For this example, I have saved a couple of blocks, including the ladder over here. So you can save uh, your blocks that you need. So if you go to the options dialog box in AutoCAD, we have an option here to add a support file path. And we can add that path or that folder where our blocks are. So if we do that, uh, if we go ahead and add that uh, folder, in my case, my blocks, and hit open. So that means AutoCAD added that trusted path there. And if I click OK, that means when I go to my command line, if I ever need a block, like in this case, a ladder, I can simply go to my command line and type ladder. So, so and the block will be there in my fingertips. So I can quickly insert it and maybe it goes here. I'm gonna place it like so. But the idea is that you can quickly bring any of your blocks simply by typing the name on the command line. Isn't that great with the next mistake? It's about changing settings in AutoCAD. So when we open AutoCAD for the first time, uh, you know, we start playing with the settings. We start turning some uh, settings on and off. Whatever we find or research, uh, we start doing that. We start doing like changing the mirror text command settings, or we go to our options dialog box and we start adding paths over here to our different blocks, to our different... The mistake is that we do all of these changes and modifications to AutoCAD without saving a backup or a reference to go back and restore your AutoCAD if any problems or errors occur and that's a big mistake we never never want to do that when we open autocad for the first time the first thing that i recommend to always always do is go to your options dialog box and create a new profile under the profile tab as you can see here uh, i'm not making that mistake because i learned from my pains i learned this the hard way, and you can see I have a new profile there. It says 2024 home, and that means this unnamed profile, that's the profile that AutoCAD started the program with. And that means if in any moment I have AutoCAD not behaving the way I want, meaning my ribbon disappears, meaning AutoCAD crashes every time I open, meaning, you know, you got the idea. There are many errors, many problems with AutoCAD. And a quick way to fix them is go back always to the started profile and set that current. And that way your AutoCAD will start working as expected. So please, please never do that mistake. And when you open AutoCAD for the first time, go to the profiles add a new profile to the list, add your name on it or whatever you wanna add it, apply and close, select that new profile, set that current, click okay, and then you can start changing 
all of your different system variables, changing the color of your backgrounds, doing whatever you want to do, but you will be safe because you have a, a backup or something where you can restore all of your settings from this profile. The mistake about exploring blocks or dynamic blocks. So let's say, for instance, I need a double block or double door block over here. And I'm gonna copy this block. And I'm gonna copy this block to explain my point or cat pro point. And I'm gonna rotate it uh, like so. Oh, great. So what people will do is, the mistake that will, they'll do is explode this block. Let's say this is a dynamic block or a regular block, doesn't matter. But the idea is that there are blocks. So they'll probably explode them erase this part and then mirror this using the mirror command and go here and say no to complete their double door but that's a big mistake because that means you lost all of the properties from the dynamic block or from the block so that means if you ever need to change something in this block the information won't update because this is not a block anymore so i'm going to undo that really quick with control Z and maybe they do it because they don't know any other techniques. But what we can do is to avoid exploring any block, dynamic blocks or anything, we can use the xclip uh, command to xclip blocks, dynamic blocks and anything. And then we can say new boundary. Uh, we can say rectangular, polygonal, that's all up to you. Let's say I'm gonna say polygonal so I can go around like so and then go about here where i don't want the hinge to show press enter and boom my block will still be there and this way i can simply mirror this from this point all the way there and i will have my double block there avoiding mistakes is crucial but if you are aiming to save time here are 10 essential tips and tricks to try out